Hello again, storage chasers. Welcome to part five in the final part of uh, this unit, the uh, finding found uh, antiques in uh, a monster unit. Uh, we have the last three boxes, and then we're going to do a, a short little recap, which is actually you know 11, 12 minutes long probably, because I've already filmed the recap on the other good stuff I found. Unless I find something even cooler in here, but I'll show you that now. We got three boxes left. Let's jump in here and see what we got. All right, we've got a bag of stuff inside the box. And then we've got, here is a kind of cool glass bottle. It says something on the bottom, we'll have to read it later. We've got some pink peppermint liquid hand soap. That's gonna be cool. Put that off to the side. We have one of these thingies. Twenty dollars for this thing. Huh. It says uh, hand wash not suitable for hot food. So don't put any hot food on there. But that's kind of a little cool little thing, right? And then here's a. Yeah, that's a very weird shape. Yeah, it's got some weird molding into it. Huh. It is glass. I just can't tell what it is. It almost looks like a almost looks like a tooth if you look at it this way. With the little ridges and stuff. It's upside down. Huh. We'll have to look into that too. And uh, this unit had a lot of basket stuff. Here's another uh, baskety holder thing. And yep, you guessed it. There's another basket there. And then here's one of these uh, expando ball thingies, which will be entertaining for the kids at our church, I'm guessing. We'll throw that at them. And ooh, look, a clock. Uh, um. Sterling and Noble, Clock Company, made in China. This one actually feels like it's got a wood wood frame around it. It doesn't feel like it's plastic. So that one might be nicer. But, uh, yeah. Yep, actual glass on the front of that bad boy as well. Very cool. All right, put that off to the side. What else is in here? Oh, I see a dime. Money is always good. We like money. There's a little pair of shoes. Another little pair of shoes. Um, there's a whole bunch of... I'm going to go with elephants. Dangled together. Upside down this way. So, it's a elephant mobile with a bell. Maybe it's a door hanging thing. Some kind of decoration. Interesting. Um... Yeah, and here's a, it's a beanie, it's an actual beanie, yeah, some little sad dog, sad dog, I can't leave that around, my dog will chew it up, what else is in here, we've got, uh, yeah, we got one of those things, uh, Jinx, I don't know what that means, uh, here is another one, same Jinx company. So that is what is in box number one. Got a couple things we can resell at uh, the flea market. Most okay, getting into this bag here. We found uh, some tins. We found uh, this tin here. It's got some pictures all around it there. Uh, yeah, I had some popcorn in it. That's what it says, if you can read it. And then inside this can was this smaller can, which has nothing in it. And it also had some kind of gourmet popcorn in it. Interesting. And then also in the bag was this one here. And it's got, it's like a little barn. Oops. Inside here we have a very old can of Coors Brewed Rocky Mountain. I don't think this is a fake can. This actually feels... Wow. 
It's got something in it. <laughs> this has some liquid in it. I don't think it's a fake can for storing stuff, but I will look into that to see. Interesting. And Billy Beer. Wow, an empty can, opened empty can of Billy Beer. Wow, that's cool. Uh, Hungry Jack pancake mix. Don't know if it's an antique or not. And then a little box here. Carlisle Island something something something. Little uh, Jack Daniels number seven old time whiskey box. Huh. Oh, it's got a little card in there. It says says that in it, whatever that is. And it has two miniature bottles, empty, empty bottles of what used to be in there probably. So don't know if this has any value to it either. But if it does, we'll find out and sell it. So that's kind of interesting right there. The, the tins, wow. Well, the, the uh, beer, that's, uh, that's an unusual find. All right, let's see what else is in here. We have a bag, oh dolls. Um, I am seeing Snow White and the Seven Doors is what I'm seeing. This looks like it would be a Snow Whitey kind of outfit. There's a Wickedy Witch. And yeah, looks like a whole collection of, of that. Maybe all those doors are there. Uh, here's a sheet. <clears throat> and here's a pie pan, pipe plate. Okay. Yeah. And here's a lid for another can that I don't see in here. Um... Crayons? Yeah, I'm guessing. And here's a box of Ooh, icky makeup. You don't need. And here's another bag. And it's got it's got a little purse wallety thingy with no money. Why don't people hide their money in these anymore? I tell you. No money. No money, no money, no cards. We'll go through a little bit better later. And we've got, uh, yeah, whatever that is, some kind of belt thing. Here's another belt strap thingy. I think I may know what that goes to. Um, a whole package of some fake blood stuff here. Yeah. Here's some scar and black makeup stuff. Just some Halloween -y stuff there. And uh, yeah, coaxial cable. And uh, that's a ginormous clip. I think this is one of those ones that you carry your bags, your grocery bags. You hook all your grocery bags on there, and then you can carry them all at once with one hand. Kind of useful for guys like me that don't want to. Carry everything else. And then there's uh, one of one of these things. I don't know, it looks like one of those toothbrush things. And yep, there's the head of it, just so that you're not thinking of something else. It's, uh, it's got a little head that goes on there. So it is a toothbrush. Whew. Luckily, since I had my hand over it. Uh says it's some chalk and it is uh, some chalk. It's open, but it is chalk. And here's some more of the chalk that goes in there. And here's the other can that we had that, uh, that this lid goes to. I have to straighten it out. And then uh, it looks like a sled. Yeah, it's got a little Christmassy type of sled. Okay, next box says breakable decor candle holders. Let's check her out. And that's none of the above. That is a frying pan. That's a frying pan. There's a, like a shelf liner. Now that's kind of cool. It feels like glass. 
like a candy cake tray. Cake tray. Wow, yeah. Very cool. Okay, that we will be uh, probably keeping. It's a stainless steel egg pan. And, oh wait, there's more. Here's another one. All clad. We may have to keep those. Here's a regular cake pan. Not like the last one you saw. This is Corel oven and baking ware. It's got that old style to it. Could sell. We will see. Here is a bunch of looks like small bunt cakes all in here. We have another one of those uh, utensil holders. Cutting board. Another cutting board. A wooden cutting board. Some drying cookie drying racks. Uh, microwavable uh, bacon trays. That's what those look like. Plastic watermelon serving platter thingies. These look like racks. Either cooling racks or somebody's oven is missing some racks. Yes, it's a deviled egg tray. We actually have two of these already, so we may not need a third. Oh. Here is another glass looking serving tray. It's got like grapes on it. Very cool. There's another cutting board. Here is a glass cutting board. Here is a pizza uh, cooking tray with the holes in it. And here is another pizza or cookie sheet in there. And that is everything that's in the box. And yeah. Candle holders, decor breakable, nope, nothing in there like that. So, on to the next one. Okay, on to the third and last box of the unit. Yay! And we'll get to the recap. Let's see what's in this one. All right. We've got an ugly pillow. And we've got... Uh, looks like a sheet. And looks like another sheet. Here's a purse with some stuff in it. Oop, I can't even get it out. They're so heavy. Pillowcase. Uh, pillowcase. Let me get the purse out uh, so I can get in here. Oof. All right, we have. This is my happy place. Originally 10 bucks means it's a dollar at the flea market. Okay. Oh, wow, that is heavy. All right. Um, we have this china thingy that says that on there. And it looks like that. That is uh, really cool. And it's got this, which I don't think goes there. And it doesn't fit in the... Doesn't fit in that hole either, so there's something else. This is, uh, I don't know. Doesn't quite have the same pattern, but close. This looks like it has the same kind of writing on it as the bottom of the tea kettle. Bombay made in China. So, maybe. Maybe not. Sorry, I'm just flipping back and forth through here. All right, here's another one. That says Bombay. That looks like it'll go there. Yes, we have a top. And we have a glass. All right, so apparently we got to be careful because we've got a lot of little ornate... Sorry, I'm doing horrible on the camera work here. It's a miniature vase, as you can tell by my fingers, it's miniature. Do a check it out on that. There's another vase, it looks like somebody glued shells to. Such a waste. Old shirt. Digging out. Oh wow, that is... Now that's kind of cool. I wish I had somewhere to display this weird stuff. 
Um, it's got a little insignia thingy here. Am Amica, something like that. We will have to check that out a little bit better. And here is a miniature tea kettle. Hopefully I don't have a whole set of that. That will really be boring. All right. Oops, see something cool already. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's coming out of there. Oh, that was a snow globe. It's got a rose floating in the water. Doesn't tell me anything. So, that's what it does. Yeah, no fun in that. Okay, here is a heavy concrete looking crown. Uh, another ten dollar item. Let me put it away from all the glass stuff. It's eleven dollars for nothing. All right, here's something glass. Oh, it's got flowers attached to it. And oh, it had like a price sticker on here. Five ninety nine. Would you pay five ninety nine for that? That looks kind of Asian-y inspired. I might be able to sell that to somebody who has an Asian-y themed bathroom going on. <clears throat> All right, here is uh, yeah. I don't see. I see a marking on there. Can't tell what it says. Maybe you guys can read it better than I can without my glasses. And it has this thing on the inside of it. So I think it's like a candle candle holder lantern-y kind of a thing. It's not bad. Interesting. Something else wrapped in this towel. Wow. Oh man, it's got broke. It's broke here. It's a fish. It is a glass fish. Wow, I've never seen anything like that. The top of this back fan is broke. Next is a... It's a bunny. Uh, I'm thinking it's a mold. It's a Wilton. 1974. And I don't know if it's... Is that a cake? thing it's got a hole in it here and I'm guessing it opens up looks like it opens up huh I wonder if you could make a cake that stands up I'm gonna have to look into that that is kind of cool I'm just breaking stuff over here piling it up on the couch sorry people uh, until my wife gets over here and sees what I'm doing okay um, there's something else Oh, this one's metal. Feels like it's aluminum. Aluminum, aluminum. That's just fun to say. But, uh, yeah. It's, uh, it's one of those. And feels like aluminum. Another pillowcase. Oh, wow. It's a light. It's a light. Behind a butterfly. Oh man, that is just like a stained glass. Put a light bulb in there. Oh, my mother used to love butterflies. And uh, this kind of brings back some good memories as well as sad ones. Oh, here's another bottle. We can sell these at the flea market. I've sold them for cheap. <laughs> Cheap, cheap. It's like two dollars a bottle or something like that. Not... Oh, goody! And here's another one. This one has grape things on it. Yeah, they don't make a whole bunch of money, but they make a little bit. All right, what else is in here? <clears throat> you stole a piece of my heart. That sounds like something silly, like what the Hales would say. Okay, feels heavy. I want to say it's 
petrified wood. That's what I want to say that it is. It has a consistency and greeniness like wood. Um, M94, it says on the bottom. Very weird. Another weird thing I have to look up. Because I don't know anything about dead wood either. <laughs> okay. Um, here's something over here. Let's unwrap this one. Sorry, bad camera, bad camera. Alright. This is green glass. Something tells me green glass is going to be something valuable. So let me look into that. That's some fruit. Oh, it looks like it's cracked. Oh, man. That looks like a apple or a pear. And here's a little bowl with some corks in it. Red glass. Here's another little candle melting tray thing. Here's another little red glass thing. Maybe it goes on top of this like this. Maybe. I'm coming together here now. It's coming together. Here's a green one of those. Maybe this and this go together. Maybe. Maybe that sits on top of there like that and and you can melt candles in it. Or maybe do your own candles. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Just uh, spitballing here, people. All right. And then we have this bowl that has no marking on it other than these emblems all around it. It is, it is pretty thick, thick glass. Um, I don't see a name. It may, it may have some markings on it that I'm just unaware of. We'll investigate later again. Alright, that was in this blinky here. Alright, another wooden thing. I am actually a mermaid. Good to know. Alright, so let me move the glass and the glass and the glass pair, which is kind of cool. Here's this. Um, probably just like a little knick-knacky shelf thing. Probably no value. And then here's a the Mona Lisa. Why is this so heavy? Oh, it's a big, heavy. Uh, Mad's Greatest Artist, the Complete Mad Don Martin. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, so, a uh, couple of volumes, 1956 to 74, and then 74 to 88. Uh, of some books. Uh, uh, Wow. I told you how heavy it was, you wouldn't believe me. It's probably 15, 20 pounds. So let's check out what it is. It's a book of Mad Magazine stuff. Yeah, I'm just flipping them real quick. Oh, okay, so it is, uh, it is just that. And it is just that heavy. Here is a bag o Hot Wheels. Bag o Hot Wheels. We'll check into those later with the other toy stuff we got. Yeah, and it's a purse full of uh, old toys. This is what it looks like in here. Uh, we'll have to check through here and see if there's anything that's old. And, uh, so that is the last of the boxes and we have found some really unusual items here a lot of it we can sell at the flea market some stuff we're gonna have to research all right hope you enjoy uh, coming up next is uh, the recap that I'm gonna attach right on here and then that'll be the end of part five hello again storage chasers and welcome to the recap part of this video Wanted to go over a couple of the cool finds, uh, things that we found in uh, this unit mixed with uh, possibly a couple things from another unit that we just recently found. But 
Uh, this last unit, uh, where we found antiques, we found a bunch of these, uh, these are complete uh, magazines. Uh, don't know why they would keep these particular ones, but news, uh, U.S. News, Newsweek, Newsweek. Uh, this one's 1983, it looks like. This is a U.S. News and World Report from 1979. Uh, it's in there. This one here is from 1976. Uh, this one... 1984. Uh, don't know why they saved these particular ones, but sometimes these older magazines uh, are worth something. And then way over here, as we're flying along here, we found uh, this magazine here, 1996 uh, Beckett Basketball Monthly. Don't know why this particular one was uh, saved in there, but yeah, it's a uh, like sealed in this thing so I don't know if it has value you have to check it out and then underneath all the paperwork we went through we actually before we threw it away we found comic books wow 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 uh, a lot of DC comic books these are all the dollar dollar DC comic books uh, here's a Vampirella one don't know anything about that uh, here's a Sesame Street comic book from 1971 so that could have some value uh, all these DC ones up here are all Star Trek uh, the next generation ones and in there is uh, not just one but in some cases two or three of the same comic book uh, all these have at least two of the same one in there so maybe that's good as well um, I've never, you know, never been that big into comic book stuff, so I don't know, but I mean, they're a dollar, so I know the cheaper that they are, the better that they are, or more valuable they could be. Um, here is uh, an Avengers, new Avengers, not for resale, kind of a comic book thing. Here's a Green Lantern, it's uh, sealed in a little papery thingy, 75 cent one, so that could be good. Here's a... Uh, she-Hulk, don't know about that. Here's a classic X-Men. This one's a dollar twenty-five. Again, don't know if it's any good. Uh, here's a thirty-cent Hulk one, so that's getting cheaper. So this one may be maybe uh, worth a little bit of money. We'll have to see. Uh, here's another Hulk. This one's uh, seventy-five cents. And a Wolverine, dollar uh, seventy-five, um, and this one's kind of sealed in a bag too. So I don't know what types of value they have on them. If it's like the first edition, the first showing of a certain character, I know they get, can go up in value because of that. But that is a cool find. Uh, also found this old Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs book. It's a Disney book. Uh, it does have some a, a little bit of writing on the inside, but. Uh, this one is 1972, so uh, that's why I keep it. Any, any of these older books I like to keep. Also found this little box here, and in this box was all of these little Betty Crocker cookbooks. A lot of people like cookbooks, especially the older ones. Um, I was looking through here, and these ones are actually dated 1970, so this is little... Uh, things here, some casseroles, ways to make burgers, show off desserts, cakes kids love, and ways to cook chicken, I guess. And they just were in this little box here. So I'm going to check that out and see if I can sell those as well. And then we found this uh, envelope here. It said Snap-on tools on it, and sure enough, inside was gift cards for Snap-on. Uh, we almost threw this away. This was in an outer pouch of a tool bag that we were looking through and we took all the tools out we were just dumping it and shaking it out and I thought it was just a piece of paper you know you can see a piece of paper but there was stuff in it and we opened them up got cards out checked the cards for uh, remaining balances and we ended up with 50 50 50 25 and 25 yes you're looking at it correctly two hundred dollars 
in gift cards for Snap-on that we almost threw away. That's why you got to pay attention to everything, every pouch, every pair of pants could have cash in it. You, didn't, you never know. Uh, like I said, it was just a, an envelope that we would have bypassed normally. But uh, I saw the Snap-on on it and it felt like I had something in it, so check through it. Interesting, interesting thing. Uh, I do have a couple other things I want to show you. Let me uh, get those out and we'll get back to the video. Okay, pulled out a few more items that I found in here. I found a whole bunch of uh, older, uh, the Stars and Stripes, little uh, newspaper. For those of you who ever served in the military and the armed forces, you'll know what the Stars and Stripes are. They've been around since this time frame. Uh, this is uh, this is some older little newspapers. They were always just only a couple pages. Uh, this one here is dated... Uh, April 28th, 1945. Very cool content. This one, uh, Wednesday, May 2nd, 1945. This one, May 3rd, 1945. I don't know if I got all the content on there. Sorry. Going. It's more exciting for me to read it than to look at it through the camera lens. Uh, the next one here is May 4th. Uh, Friday, May 4th, 1945. Very, very cool. And like I said, this is not just one page. It's it's like the whole thing in here. Uh, this one here is uh, May 6th, 1945. Get it flat so you can see it here. And these were uh, just folded up in a binder. And this one here is dated Tuesday... May 8th of 1945 and uh, yeah pictures I've never seen before of course you know I'm not quite this old but this one here has uh, a few more pages to it than uh, some of the other ones very very cool what was going on in 1945 Hey, Tigers win. Good deal. These are baseball standings. That'll kind of be cool for some people to look at. 1945. Joe Palooka. How many people remember Joe Palooka? Sorry, memory lane. Memory lane, I know. And Dick Tracy. Wow. Gasoline Alley. Some people don't even remember these ones, these comics. Wow. Very cool. Sorry, memory lane. Got to do it. And uh, then there's this one here from August 14th, uh, 1945. This was an extra for them. Pearl Harbor, bring back. Very cool photos. Probably some that we've uh, seen before, but some I've never seen before. But very very cool items there and uh, then there's more we also found these two newspapers in this unit along with this uh, this one is the Parkersburg Sentinel from uh, Parkersburg West Virginia October 7th 1941 very cool and uh, Hopefully you can see the yellowing of the paper because it's so old. And, uh, it does have more than one page in here of stuff. A lot of women's ads and stuff like that because that's all that was home was the women because the men were off doing battle for this great country. So that is what is big and important. Then I also got this one. Also from the same place, Parkersburg, West Virginia. Uh, August 14th, 1945. Yep, yep, yep. This one, like I said, I don't know what these papers would have as far as value. Uh, you know, they're not in the best of condition, but they are all complete. Uh, they do have some rips and tears. Not just the ones I've been giving them, but 
Um, there may be some kind of value to collectors of this kind of stuff. I know I've seen stuff like this, like put in a picture frame and they frame it nice and they can keep them that way. So maybe I can find, you know, somebody that does that and uh, sell them to them. But these are very interesting. That is the uh, recap for this video. We don't have uh, too many other cool things left. But uh, always remember to check pockets, check pouches, check your stacks of papers for comic books. I mean, all these newspapers, they were just in, in like a kid's binder. They were just stuck in here. And uh, we just would have flipped through real quick and thrown it away. But then, you know, when we do our due diligence and check stuff out, then uh, we can see, you know, more stuff, more interesting things. We would have lost these and these would have been lost forever. And these, uh, this is our history. This is, this is the story. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, share, subscribe, leave comments. Let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, what you liked about the videos, what you hate about the videos, all that. All input is good input. And uh, until the next time, talk to you later.